Hello, my little mathematicians. Today, I'm going to help you get started on your homework for shading fractions. Okay, so first off, um, we're going to do it with area boxes. So go ahead and draw a rectangle in each of these. And then I want you to think that you have to break it up into equal pieces, right? So first of all, let's look at the denominator here. And it tells us that we want to break it into how many pieces? Five pieces. So break it into five equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five equal pieces. So that each of these is worth one fifth, right? So let's break all of them into five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, and four, five. Okay, now if you wanted to shade three of those five pieces, because the top tells you how many to shade, the denominator tells you how many equal pieces to do. Okay, you wanna shade three of those. So one, two, three of those five equal pieces. All right. Um, and then you want to add one fourth. So you started with, you have three fifths. Okay. Right. Three fifths. And then I'm adding one fourth. And so instead of going here, one this isn't broken into four equal pieces, so I can't do it that way. So then how do I break this same um, rectangle, but into four equal pieces? Okay, well, instead of doing um, columns, let's break it up into four equal rows instead. So if I were to ignore those dark blue lines, do you see that I have one, two, three, four equal pieces going this way? So let's do that for all of these. Okay, again, one, two, three, four equal pieces going that way. One, two, three, four equal pieces going that way. So if I'm focusing on this way, I'm like ignoring the dark blue lines. If I'm focusing on the columns, then I'm ignoring the pink lines. Okay, um, so now when I'm focusing on the fourths, how many fourths does it want me to shade? Just one out of the four. So that I'm gonna shade here. Okay, so do you see that I shaded one out of one, two, three, four equal pieces? And I shaded one, two, three out of one, two, three, four, five equal pieces. Um, now the problem is that when you do that, um, do you notice that they're in reality, they actually are little teeny tiny little boxes that are all now the equal size. Imagine that I drew it perfectly and they are actually identical. <laughs> um, how many little identical boxes here got shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve little boxes got shaded here. And how many little tiny boxes got shaded there? One, two, three, four, five interesting that there was five columns and I shaded five of them. And then here there was four rows and I shaded four times three, which was the 12. I mean, that's just a side thought if you're looking for patterns, but um, I shaded 12 boxes here and five boxes here um, for a grand total of, okay, well, I had three columns plus one, two, three, four, five more, we said. So one, two, three, four, five. That's a total of 17 total boxes out of how many? 17, 18, 19, 20 boxes. What do you notice about 20 in relationship to these guys, the denominators? Hmm, five times four is 20. It is, huh? And you shaded 17 out of those 20 boxes. You're gonna do the next problem just like this, okay? You're gonna break it up into five equal pieces and shade three of those five pieces. And then you're gonna break it up into four equal pieces. So maybe like five columns and maybe four rows and shade three of those four rows. My hint to you is that you're, you might run out of boxes to shade. So then maybe you might wanna down beneath that, draw another um, box with five columns and four rows 
And keep in mind um, back before that in case we have something where we shaded everything, I think that was in right here. If you shade an entire set of something, that's like one full thing. And then you're going to shade a partial amount of the other. Okay, so just give it a chance. And then when you check yourself, see if you got it right. If not, it's okay. It's just practice. This one's pretty tricky. So I want you to go ahead and give it a try. And if you miss it, that's fine. Because again, it is pretty tricky. You might end up going where you have to draw two separate area boxes. That's my hint to you. You'll see when you start it. All right, my little mathematicians, you got this. Good luck.